my name is David Ion, and today we're going to take apart a red lithium Milwaukee cell. Uh, these are really popular. They are great batteries, um, and I've torn apart hundreds of power tool batteries um, to harvest their cells uh, for other uses. So I'm going to tear this down to show you how to tear it down quickly and um, get the cells out of it. So here we go. So these, this one has, looks like four torque screws on it. Um, so I will take, see if I have the right size here. And here we go. So I like to use this, it's a little, it's just a Ryobi low voltage, just a little slower. I mean, I can do it with a bigger drill if that's what you got. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Make sure it's in the verse. And... Oh, they come, they just come more faster that way. Um, all right, now we got these screws out here. I'll just pull these out. And these are Torx security bits, which you can get just about anywhere. Um, these are actually Harbor Freight that I'm using. Um, so this one's gonna stick a little bit. Get here. Start to just loosen it up with a screwdriver. What you got here is the stickies are holding it. The red lithium is holding it here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just get those out of the way. And there we go. So, Milwaukee Red Lithium. The cells are down here in these black covered areas. These are the charging areas here. And that's the uh, battery management uh, balance board. Um, and this is the light. As you can see, it's one that won't charge. Um, so to start with on this, I'm gonna connect, uh, disconnect and cut the nickel strip um, so the board is less live. So I'm gonna start with the in-between, the balance leads, so to speak. Um, and I'm just gonna cut this nickel strip. Now you've got the main positive and the main, main negative here. Um, these are a little bit harder to cut. And there comes the pack. Might be a little easier for me just to pop this up. Actually, I missed a screw there. another torch screw and it is just a different size. So I'm just gently lifting here so I can get down to where it's easier to cut. Underneath here, there's a big nickel, piece of nickel strip that's kind of a plate down here. But underneath here, it's just a tab that you can cut. So I'll do this same thing on this other side. Let's see if I can't lift that up a little bit to get to the tab, but the problem is
got a few things in the way there. So I am gonna start from over here. Since I don't really care about this board that much, I'm just gonna start pulling stuff up. You can see there, the battery wanted to arc on me a little bit. Um, so before I do that, I'm gonna take the main negative off of the battery cell, pull it off, just so it's a little safer and stuff's not sparking and scaring me. <laughs> so now that I have those balance leads cut and I cut uh, one of the mains off, the whole cell pack just starts to defold like this. So, it's like you have a snake of batteries here. Um, so, let's cut this up the pack. Let's get the nickel strip there. Get these things out of the way and get anything electronic out of there that would want to arc. And then you just start disassembling them. I mean, it really looks like the batteries are good on this one. There may, may have been something that went wrong with the board um, or it went to undercharge. Sometimes the, these boards, the way they work, if they go to an undercharge situation on the cells, they will not um, actually um, let you charge them. Um, and there's some ways around that where you can kind of bump charge them to get them up higher and then they'll actually uh, will work again inside the pack. Um, but on this one, since I'm tearing it down anyway to, to use for something else, I'm just going to pull this nickel strip off of here, cut these little, little pieces here from it being spot welded. And if need be, if you have a little bit left on there um, and it's kind of hard to clip off, sometimes I'll just take a little ball peen hammer and just tap it a little bit and flatten it out. So you can spot weld back to it or do other things you would like to do. So anyway, this is a red lithium, Milwaukee red lithium battery. Um, it looks like uh, it looks like it's two amp hours. Um, it's got 18650 cells in it. And these are Sam, Samsung 15Ms, which is a, a cell that has a, a, a very good and high discharge and uh, recharge rate, um, which is great for this application. Um, so I'm David Ion and in future videos, I will show you how to grade these, but first I wanted to show you how to take these apart. And from there, I will show you how to uh, bring them back up to a better cell life. Thanks again, and like and subscribe.